Hello, hello, and welcome back to this channel. Uh, today I'm in uh, Lisbon as a last minute decision because I came with uh, my girlfriend, Joana, and uh, she's going to attend a concert. And I, I decided that I would come doing some street photography in Lisbon. It's something that I haven't done in, in quite some time because I haven't been here in quite some time with the pandemic. It was one of the subjects that made me fall in love with photography in the first place. And um, it's for me, it's a little bit nostalgic as well. What am I going to be shooting? Probably you already know, but it's the Nikon F2 with the 135 uh, lens. And uh, this is a 3.5 waiting a bit for the light to come a bit down and then I'll, I'll start photographing a bit. I started walking around Vasco da Gama area a bit and took some shots, but wasn't feeling that inspired by the environment and the light there. I wanted some movement, chaos, and night photography in the city center was really what I was craving for. That and the best ice cream in Lisbon. So we ran to the metro station and half an hour later grabbed those ice creams and checked the Harley motorcycles in a shop nearby. You can probably see me drooling in the reflection if you look close enough. We had a pretty enjoyable afternoon walk where I took some more shots on the Nikon F2. I am really fond of the colors on these ones and the sun setting gave the perfect mood and tones. As I crossed the street, I was drawn to the light touching the top of these trees, which gave me the perfect excuse for a self-shadow portrait. I've taken some of these over the years, and I think it's an interesting way to portray myself in these kinds of environments. We walked towards Gulbenkian Gardens to see the ducks, and then we split up. The sun was already set. I loaded some Kodak Vision 500T, intending to push it one or two stops, and started firing the shutter at night. The first shot I took from an alleyway was probably one of my favorites of the night. The tones and the texture from the Remjet makes it really hard to tell it's actually a photograph. Pretty simple shot with the color relation between the cap and the wall, a lot of negative space for the eyes to rest a bit from all the chaos of the city. Moving on, I found this rather intriguing dog guarding this girl's legs. Pretty funny one, difficult and unusual composition, but I think it works well. People were gathered for a small concert or party with some trailer selling food, and I got this portrait from one of the sellers. I like the light and their light-hearted and sympathetic expression. Also the frame within a frame aspect is always pleasant to me. Oh, by the way, if you notice a kind of scratching in the pictures I'm showing, just know that it is actually Remjet layer purposefully left on the film. I came by it as a mistake at first, but for some reason I really appreciate the texture and movement it gives to some of these. The lines almost feel like brush strokes. Then I walked from where I was towards Baixa Chiad, passing through the famous Marquis de Pombal. On my way I found this very interesting subject, a middle-aged man with an amazing figure and expression. The light and setting were also very cool. An hotel or restaurant lounge of some sort with some nice looking decor and colors. I took these shots with a bit of undefined reflections on the lower part of the image. I love the mood of these the tones and his presence. A little bit on the underexposed side, but I was trying to expose for what is inside. I'll get a closer shot. The closer portrait has a nice perspective to it. And again, the ramjet strokes give the frame a nice touch, I think. Really interesting subject. And the colors in the interior are pretty cool. A little bit of slow shutter speed, so hopefully my uh, arm is as steady as it used to be. Below Roussillou train station I found this composition. I was drawn to the repetition of elements here and I was able to isolate the figure. The upwards perspective is what sells this one for me, gives it some thriller vibes. 
I was very hungry, so I decided to grab something to eat very quickly and keep on shooting. I was really happy with the photo walk up until this point and was curious as to what other compositions I could find. It was dinner time, so I chose to walk down Rua Augusta, one of the busiest at this time for obvious reasons, a lot of good and expensive food. I took this image of this girl group picking their dinner. The colors and composition really interest me. Also the girl on the right makes for an interesting subject. I then decided to take a 10 minute break and check what photo books there were on sale. I just bought this book. Nazolino is a Portuguese photographer. Very well known. I'll probably just do a review. Continuing my walk, I had to make a pit stop that is rather important to me. Fine Arts Faculty of Lisbon. It's where I studied and a place I have very fond memories of and some really good old friends. A place where I learned to love photography and painting and every art in between. A place of freedom and the best one I could have hoped for to find out who I was and what my passions were. With only two more shots to finish the roll, I snapped this quick portrait of this receptionist in a very moody setting and the painting in the back. I like the layering this one has with some interesting shapes and textures. I swapped to another roll of 500T rated at 1600 ISO and kept moving. The streets were very busy and I was getting a bit tired, so I went searching for a little bit less chaos in the aftermath of dinner. This one was the front of a restaurant with those big aquariums. Probably a very cruel scene for some, but photography doesn't judge, only shows. I find the colors interesting, as well as the fact two lobsters seem to be almost touching in the middle, making this a rather centered composition. The air bubbles give it a nice touch of contrast as well. After some faking so that the lady would not notice me, I was able to grab this portrait. I find her face pretty intriguing and overall an interesting subject to photograph. The tones in the background give it a nice contrast with the blues in the foreground. Behind this lady was this fire performance made by these two guys. I took a couple shots, tipped and moved on. I like the texture on the first one. After I reached Terreiro do Passo, I circled back towards Baixa. I grabbed some abstract looking reflections on my way back. As I was going up, there was this guy holding an LED lit balloon that you can see in the image there. I saw the gap and the couple threw the balloon and decided to grab a quick snap. The lights make the image pop. After I took the shot, the guy that was holding the balloon approached me and told me no pictures. I politely said I didn't take any picture of him and he was pretty cool with it. Some people don't react very well to being photographed and what we as photographers are supposed to do is remain calm and have the attitude to de-escalate the situation. And if in the end the person doesn't want that picture to go anywhere, you respect that decision and move on. As I was walking through Luis Camões Square, these two random guys called me to take a portrait of them. Even though the lighting wasn't the best, this picture is only about the memory, and for that purpose, it is okay. We had a very deep conversation about dreams and passions. I sent them the picture after I scanned it. They liked it. A portrait of friends far away from home. I went up by Hualt, a very busy area where most of the nightlife takes place. I found it pretty funny that the only picture I would take in such a spot would be of a lady in her home sewing some clothes. I checked some more spots before I hung up the camera for the night. I took these shots from the inside of a store with a very dramatic and cool lighting setup. The first one with a mannequin shadow is kinda eerie. A couple blocks after, I was surprised to see this guy asleep through the window of a building. 
The colors in the first shot reflected in the window I was shooting through are very nice. I am not fond of the centered composition. I corrected the composition in the second shot, but wasn't able to get the cool looking lighting in the background. Lisbon is an amazing city, very beautiful and inspiring for street photography and photography in general. It's a default place for me when I am in need of some inspiration. The lighting, screens and neons create interesting dynamics and moods. People are everywhere and it's only a matter of time until you find that one character, that one subject, that one scenario. Even though I am pretty tired of the chaos and the stress, I am really happy with the images and what I was able to bring home with me. As I am editing this with a cup of hot tea in my hand, while hearing the wind gushing outside, I am reminded of what I love about the city, but even more of what I love about the peaceful countryside.